Tom Hiddleston is just one of many Brits flying the flag in the acting world right now. And subsequently, he's been honoured as BFI's first official ambassador at the Luminous Gala Dinner in London. I'm so, I feel very proud and, 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 and so privileged. I think, you know, the BFI has been a huge part of, of my very short um, working life. Uh, I really believe in British film. The BFI believes in British film too. And I think, um, you know, I think as a nation, we can be incredibly proud that we have some of the greatest directors, cinematographers, production designers, actors working all over the world and the BFI is absolutely at the heart of that. I feel very good, my feet sort of haven't touched the ground, um, uh, but I'm, I just feel very lucky in the end. I feel incredibly lucky, I've been uh, already um, enormously blessed to have the, some of the experiences I've had, to work with the people I've worked with, um, to have the chance to make the films I've made. and, and um, that I'm still here continues to, to surprise me uh, and I don't take it for granted for a second. I'm incredibly proud of High Rise. Um, it's a very uh, British novel by a very British writer and has been adapted by a very British director in Ben Wheatley. He, he has a very singular talent in this country. Um, he's brave, he's daring, he takes risks, uh, he trusts his own instincts and um, I'm, I'm excited to show London on Friday at the BFI London Film Festival. Tonight it's all about honouring the Brits in film. Apart from yourself, who do you think is flying the flag for the Brits right now in the movie world? My goodness, there are so many, I think. Um, it's been an incredible year for, for British cinema. Um, I think in, in the acting department you've got extraordinary people like um, Tom Hardy um, doing some of his very finest work this year. Um, if you think about Locke and Mad Max and Legend, Michael Fassbender never stops. Chiwetel Ejio for is amazing. Um, uh, Idris Elba keeps making strides. 007's coming out in two weeks. That's something to be proud of. Um, and then, you know, in the directing department, Danny Boyle's um, made a film about Steve Jobs and, uh, and Christopher Nolan made Interstellar last year. Tom Hooper, Eddie Redmayne, it, the list goes on. You don't need any help from me. I think, I think British cinema is alive and kicking um, in front of and, and, and behind the screen. <laughs> Look, I understand the speculation is a fun game. It's a game, isn't it? Um, and um, I personally think he's an extraordinary actor and, and he makes a, a great James Bond. So, um, so yeah, I, can't, I mean, I can't wait to see Spectre. I, can't, um, I, th I, just, I think he's immensely watchable. He's incredibly dedicated. And... Um, and I'll be there on opening weekend.